Well, there must be a reason you think you have warts. Well, I, I, I slept with a guy. My boyfriend, I guess. Yeah, I guess he's my boyfriend. Okay. Does he have warts? Not that I can remember. Should we even be here? We're literally just her thoughts. Doesn't he have more important clients with real problems? Well, we're very powerful thoughts. Who are you? Oh, that's Marv. Edie thought that Kinsley's fear should be more deep-seated. Well, as long as we're here, we better get some ROI. She's never been this... What do you even call this? Well, I cross-referenced my notes with WebMD, and uh, this is what you'd call uh, sad. Don't story this, by the way. We'll get Froyo later, and you can boom it. I'm not used to talking about my... I, I don't really have friends. Except you. Well, I'm not your friend, I'm your therapist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just jokes. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little bit more about... Uh, you called it a shame spiral. Yeah. Here we go. Well, I got drunk it's on a night that I was supposed to write, but I uh, didn't. <laughs> Which is fine, there are a lot of nights that I don't write, but I, well, I just thought that Audrey Hepburn probably wouldn't do that. Do what? Get drunk. Why wouldn't she? Because of the children. <laughs> Why are you making a comparison between you and Audrey Hepburn? <laughs> I know, I, I know. She, she just came to my mind, I guess. What do you think of Audrey Hepburn? Like, if, if she were alive and had social media, you know, she would probably post pictures of her morning meditations and how she saves the children. It, she had her shit together. And you want to have your shit together? Yeah. Okay. What? And why do you think you don't? Because she's old as fuck. Because, because I guess I feel like I'm past my prime. I want to be a writer, but I can't even write a sentence. And it's hard to see how I'm going to... I mean, I've been unpublished. I've never been published. And uh, it feels too late. Hmm. What? Your mind is very busy. What was isolation like? <laughs> well? Well, anxiety is a real thing, even if it's hard to see. <laughs> this is about writing. I just need help writing. Why are you so hard on yourself? Don't bring me into this. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get somewhere, I guess. And how's that working for you? This guy. <laughs> so, what if we tried the opposite? We've moved on to riddles. The opposite of getting somewhere? Hmm? I, I guess I just... Still. You'd be still. You'd be paused. You'd be slowed down, halted, maybe even completely and utterly stopped. <laughs> what is that line from uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, the one about the cat? If I could find a real life place that made me feel like Tiffany's, then I'd buy some furniture and give the cat a name. Right. <laughs> yeah, I love that line. Feel good? Stick around. Feel safe. Stick around. Yeah, actually, my favorite line from that film is uh, from the guy that plays Fred. He says, no matter where you run, you just end up running into yourself. I wonder if some of this very busy mind of yours is merely a way of running away from yourself. And you just can't get away from her. So what if you put your stake in the ground? What if you gave the cat a name? What if you can't really write? What if you're never successful? What if you have warts? You're never gonna know the answers to any of these questions until you commit to something. That, in a way, that doesn't give you a way out. You think you're doing things, uh, getting somewhere, but you're just running the same circles again and again, and that may be the point, until you can sit still. Do nothing. Be nothing. Go nowhere. You are never going to know who you really are. 
or what you're really capable of. Shit. <laughs>